Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life channel. In this particular video, I'm going to share with you how it's possible that that dead people can actually talk to us or communicate with us. How do spirits communicate? How am I doing this channeling stuff? There's another video that you might also be interested in where I talk about specifically what channeling is and the different types of, of ways to channel. All right, so let's talk about how spirits talk. And I will share first that the language, the common universal language is energy. It's energy. And it's the way that we translate energy. It, it, that is what forms the message and brings forward the communication. And so the way that I would, oh, the easiest way to describe how spirit is able to communicate with us is that a lot of times, luckily for me, and the work that I do as a medium and as a channel and as a psychic, when I connect with spirits, they bring forward the famous people, the celebrities, the, the historic figures and such, and even your grandma, okay? They bring forward energy that presents their personal traits or represents some of the characteristics that they had in their human life so you will be able to recognize them. Now that doesn't mean that they haven't crossed over or they're not full spirit. They are spirit, they're in spirit form. It doesn't mean they're a ghost or anything like that because they can talk or connect with us. It, it just simply means they are utilizing energy in connection with their ability to recall or remember what life was like in the human form, in the human expression. Because you are a spirit, I am a spirit, we are all spirit. Whether we have a body, a physical body or not, we are spirit. So the spirit is always alive. It is eternal and it always exists. And so the spirit in the afterlife is able to tap into some of the vibrations of the traits that they had as a person so that you and I will be able to recognize them. So I can describe to you some of the common characteristics or traits of that particular person so that you would know them, you would know who they are. And it could be distinguishing characteristics like they always wore a hat or they, they always smoked a certain type, like a pipe, not a cigarette, but it was a pipe or a grandma with a certain kind of perfume that I can, I can actually sense and smell the energy or smell it. It's kind of hard to explain um, that part, but, and then I'll describe that to you. And that's how you will know them. So they'll bring forward things and personality traits or characteristics to like if they were funny, if they were humorous, used humor a lot. I use humor a lot in my work um, just to diffuse situations because sometimes you know, working with dead people and talking to spirits, it kind of could sound really heavy or pretty intense. And it doesn't have to be. It can be really lighthearted. And so we want we want to have happy um, memories or experiences as well, right? It doesn't have to be deep or intense stuff. Um, and we connect them with the personality of that person. So if they're funny, it's great. I love to bring that forward. Sometimes people, um, dead people, uh, former people, will have um, a specific accent or a type of a slang that they used to use, like a certain word that they would use, like dude, 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 or whatever. Um, so I'll use that a lot. It just naturally starts coming out when I'm talking. Um, or if they have like a nickname or something that they used to call the person, um, sometimes that will come forward. And also, as far as traits or characteristics, sometimes if people were really shy, they might be you know, soft-spoken or quiet, and they might, um, the spirit might bring forward that energy of kind of shyness and just kind of being reserved, and they'll let me feel that energy, and then I'll share it with you, and that's the personality coming through or the traits that you can then recognize them with. Plus, the energy comes through so you can feel it in your heart. You can feel that it's them, and then it gives you a reason to believe that you are more than just your body and your human experience. It gives you a higher purpose a, a broader and deeper connection to life itself, but more of a meaning. There's more purpose then in your human life. That's the point of doing all this spiritual connection is to give you a, a really motivate you to have the best human life that you can have and to utilize your spirit to be able to do that because then that's your wholeness. You're a spirit and a person. You're both. 
So um, that's how they can connect and communicate. And you, okay, so listen to this and please hear this. You can communicate and connect with the spirit as well. You can, you can do it. It's not just something reserved for special people or that. Um, it, it's not just reserved for a select few. Everyone can communicate and connect. It just takes practice for you to do it. It's like learning a language. Do you remember trying to learn math? I don't even know if I ever fully learned math. Or if you've recently tried to learn a different language, for example, it takes time. You have to start a build with building blocks and practice, right? And so one of the best ways, if you are interested in developing your spiritual connection ability or wanting to connect with someone who has crossed over, one of the best ways is to write a letter to that person. Write a letter to grandma. Write a letter to that person. Do that. Or write in a journal and consistently write. Have a conversation in a journal. And the reason why I suggest writing or in a journal is because it's so much easier than just having a conversation in your mind because there's it's gone after you've had it. And then you question your sanity. You're like, did I just make all that up? Did I really talk to, did I really talk to Nana? You know, that kind of thing. And you question it. But if you write it down, it feels, it gives you a tangible expression in your human form of what's happening energetically at spirit level. And also, let me tell you this, it's really important. Your connection with your own spirit is the way to everything. It's the way to fulfillment, to happiness, to a more peaceful life, to feeling more comfortable in your human experience. And if you want to develop your intuition, you've got to talk to yourself in spirit form. And you can do that in a journal. Treat your soul, and you can even give your soul a name, or you can call it your higher self if you want to do that. But, and you can even get, yeah, give it a name if you want, and talk to that energy and get to know that part of who you are. It doesn't make you crazy. It means you actually care about what your soul's purpose is for your life. And in order to do that, you have got to build a relationship. And it seems kind of silly, but it is absolutely 100% true. And you can do it. Do it by writing. Do it by journaling. Now, if that if you're not a writer, if you're like, I did not write, I don't write, I'm not, I'm not a journaler, I'm not one of those people, then do something different like talk out loud. You know, you can record it. Our phones have all these great apps and things. You can actually record a conversation that you have and have it with your soul or have it with your Nana and just talk, 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 talk and record it. And then you can listen back to it. And then you will see, you will begin to start to notice when it's you and your mind talking or it's your spirit that's coming through and giving you information, messages, energy, or whether it's Nana coming through. So, but it takes repetition. You have to practice it, which means you have to do it. It doesn't mean you, you have to work hard at it. It's just you have to have the experience again and again, and it has to become like a routine, like a no big deal kind of thing, like a second nature, like an autopilot kind of thing. So you can write or you can talk out loud. If you talk out loud, I would suggest either um, kind of making some notes after you've had that conversation out loud. And I say out loud because there has to be two ways. You express it, it's coming through your mind and thoughts and you're talking, but you're also hearing it. And so it's two ways to process. And when you write, it's the same thing. You're writing, it's coming through your mind, but you're putting it on paper so you can see it as well. And so you can do either one of those things, but it's really important that you do something that is going to help you connect, build a relationship with your soul, which supports your intuition, which supports your spirit development, the ability to connect with spirit, okay? So this is Bridget. Thank you for being here at Above Life Channel. Make sure you subscribe, check out the videos and the weekly channels that I will be sharing and posting with you. Make sure you don't miss that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. And if you like this channel, please be sure to share it. Thanks so much for being here.